Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I am going to recap the White Sox opening day game against the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> So, um, I, I'm, this is going to be a very in-depth recap. I won't do this for every game because there are quite a few games in a baseball season, even this one with 60 games, and I do have a day job. So, you won't get this kind of in-depth coverage all the time, but you will get it every once in a while when I can do it. And I figured opening day has got to be one of those days when I do that. So, let's get into it. Uh, the matchup was Barrios for the Twins against Giolito. And this was Giolito's first opening day start ever. Mazzara was not in the lineup for the White Sox because he is on the IL. We don't really know why, but he is. And so, uh, Nicky Delmonico was playing right field for the White Sox in his place. The opening pitch was done by the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot. And uh, so after she threw out the first pitch, it was game time. The first batter for the Twins was Max Kepler. And Giolito's very first pitch to Kepler was taken out of the park for a home run to right field. one nothing Twins. Say what? So, uh, yeah, that was an inauspicious start to the game. Giolito's very first pitch, and he's losing one nothing. Then he walked Donaldson. Then the Sox botched a potential double play on a ball up the middle by Polanco, and Lori Garcia flubbed the uh, transfer, so they only got one out. Then there was a misplay on a grounder to short, and then a pitch got away from Grandall, and two runners moved to second and third. There was still only one out. Then there was a walk to Rosario, and that loaded the bases with one out. And then Garber hit a, a sack fly to Delmonico in right. Two nothing twins. Jake Cave hit a two run single up the middle. Four nothing twins. And then uh, Sano struck out. And uh, that got the White Sox out of the inning, Giolito having thrown 31 pitches after the first inning. Then in the bottom of the first, Anderson let off the bottom of the first with a single off the glove of Donaldson. Moncada hit an opposite field grounder down the third base line with Donaldson well off the line, and uh, that put runners at second and third as Moncada hit a double on that. Then there was a grounder up the middle by Abreu, which scored Anderson from third and moved Moncada to, to third. Then there was a ground ball by Grandall to second with the infield in so Moncada couldn't score, and that made it two outs. And then Encarnacion lined out to short, and it was 4-1 Twins after one inning. Then in the top of the second, with one out in the top of the second, Max Kepler hit his second home run of the game off Giolito. Two for two, two dongs. And that made it 5-1 Twins. And then that's how it ended. The Twins got no other runs in the second. Then in the bottom of the second, Eloy Jimenez led off with a single to left field. Luis Robert took the first pitch he saw to left field for a single, and that put runners at first and second with no outs. That was Luis Robert's first at bat, and the exit velocity on his hit was 115 miles per hour. Then Delmonico hit into a double play, Jimenez to third, two outs. Then there was a pass ball that scored Jimenez from third, and then there was a walk to Lurie Garcia. Then Tim Anderson singled to left field through the hole at short, and things were starting to get interesting right about then. That put runners at first and second. 
And then Moncada hit a three-run home run. So he had a double in the first, came up in the second, and he had a uh, three-run homer. That tied the score at five all. Now, if you're a White Sox fan, that's pretty much the end of the highlights. Abreu fouled out the catcher, and then we went to the third inning. In the, uh, let's see here, in the third inning, um, well, actually, there was no scoring in the third, so we'll go to the fourth. In the top of the fourth, Gilito loaded the bases with two outs, though he did get Kepler finally to uh, pop out as one of those two outs. But with uh, 80 pitches thrown at the at that point, Renteria took Gilito out and brought in Evan Marshall. Polanco then hit a two-run single to center field, which made it 7-5 to five Twins. And that is pretty much how it stayed until the seventh inning of the game. 7-5 Twins. And... Uh, then in the uh, top of the seventh, Polanco singled off Cordero. Then there was a wild hop single by Cruz over Garcia's head. Runners at the corners, no outs. Then Renteria came out and he out of the dugout and he took out Cordero and uh, brought in uh, Aaron Bummer because he felt like he had to stop everything right then. And it would have been nice if everything had stopped right then, although, really, as you'll see, it didn't really matter. Um, Rosario hit a one-run single up the middle. It was 8-5 twins. Garver walked to load the bases with no outs. Then Bummer struck out Jake Cave and Sano. So now there was two outs. Bases still loaded. And then Arreyes singled to right and knocked in two runs. That made it 10-5 twins. And that ended up being exactly what the final score was. The Twins won the game 10-5. Um, of anything else for the twin or for the White Sox that was of uh, any particular note was that Cody Hoyer was brought on to pitch for his major league debut in the ninth inning. His first career strikeout was Mitch Garver, and he got out of that inning without allowing any runs. But the White Sox did manage to get no more runs. And so this is pretty much how it looked. The uh, winning pitcher was Trevor May, and the losing pitcher was Giolito, who went three and two-thirds innings and allowed seven earned runs. And um, I don't know what Major League Baseball was thinking about their new rules uh, cutting down on the time of the game because um, the time of this game was like three and a half hours. So um, now, of course, that part of that has to do with all the runs that scored. But anyway, so there we go. The White Sox are 0-1 on the season. It's a 60-game season, and now we know that there's going to be um, eight teams making the playoffs from each league, so that's still pretty good. And the uh, Detroit Tigers got destroyed by the Reds, and the Royals lost to Cleveland, although that doesn't really help us one way or the other right now because both teams are in the Central Division. So... We'll have to hope for better luck um, as the season goes on and in the rest of this series. Um, tomorrow it's going to be Keuchel pitching. Tomorrow on Saturday, the 25th of July, it's going to be Keuchel pitching for the White Sox. So we'll see if they can get a little better luck. Uh, but in their opening game of the season, they weren't so lucky. And that is my opening day White Sox recap from Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.